the University of Central Missouri has an array of talented professors, and the new digital media production staff member Seth Camillo is no exception. I sat down with him to ask how he got his start in the film industry. My background in digital media and film started when I was 18 years old when I went to college. I went to college to be a get my PhD in economics was my goal and my roommate just happened to be a filmmaker and back then people didn't have access to cameras like they do now. People, I didn't know anybody with a video camera. I didn't know there was even really a path to being a filmmaker. And so I met him and I just became enamored with film. I also asked Seth to talk about his recent move from LA where he was a director and the transition to becoming a professor in the Warrensburg community. Well, my father is a professor. My grandfather was a professor. Um, it's, I would not have gotten an MFA if that was not my end goal. But LA is a very um, cool place if you're in film. And more than the place itself, it's the people who are there that make it exciting for me. You know, it's the best and the brightest within the industry that I love. If you wanna make a living, you have to come to grips with the fact that you may not direct or you may not write the screenplay as of now. It may not be something you're gonna get immediately. But there are many other positions from food service to you know camera operators to you know dealing with the footage there's all this other world to support the films and there it's exciting as well to be involved in that so there are lots of other jobs associated with the industry Seth shared with me the benefits of going to a smaller university and advice for those wanting to venture out into the film industry themselves there is more opportunity for community in a uh, smaller institution. Obviously, I think the emphasis in a school like this is more student-centric. I think the students are very motivated. I think the students are extremely competent and extremely responsible. These are difficult things to work through, and I feel like the students that I've been working with thus far have uh, taken the challenge and taken the responsibility on their own to, to, to go beyond class and, and learn. Filmmaking is probably more difficult than other professions, but it's probably less difficult than parents think it is. It's easy to get frightened of becoming a filmmaker because there's sort of anything in the entertainment industry, you know, you're told to be wary of in terms of a career. But the truth of the matter is, is it's difficult to be excellent at anything. And that's what I point out, is it's difficult to be a lawyer, it's difficult to be a doctor, you're talking eight years of training, and there's a whole lot of, um, you know, faith that goes into it. Will it work out for every profession? I also had a chance to ask about a film Seth has been working on for the past four years that will be distributed in the coming months. Good Iron Heroes is about brain and spinal cord injury on the football field. And there's a lot of talk about it, but the reality is most people are looking away. As Americans with athletics and what risk we're willing to take and how we respond to tragedy. Seth left me with these final thoughts. The University of Central Missouri definitely puts the students at the center of our world as professors. Reporting for Lowdown, I'm Ron Janae Hill.